Yo guys, what's going on? Christopher Lopez with BeastBrotherhood.com and in today's video we're going to be covering the best workout for your abs. Now, if you were looking for a video that's going to show you all these crazy ab exercises, this is not the one and I'm going to explain to you why. Um, everybody has abs, right? Now if you found this video, you're looking to basically get abs, I would imagine, right? You're looking to get, get, get your abs to be seen or to get your abs to pop a little bit more. Basically, you're looking for the most efficient way to get abs or get your abs to be better looking. Now, abs are like any other muscle group, right? We all have them, right? But the problem with abs is that they are covered by a layer of fat, right? Most people who want to see their abs and they can't, they have fat over top. There's a layer of fat sitting on top of your abs. Here's where people screw this up. So they do all these ab exercises, they try and find all these ab, ab videos so that they can work on their abs when the reality is you just have to get rid of that layer of fat on top of the abs and your abs will be seen. So there's a couple different factors that go into ab training. First is you have to train them like a muscle, right? So the best, most beneficial way I see to train abs is hit them hard for two or three weeks and then lay off for two or three weeks. So you blitz them, you blitz them hard, okay? And you can use any ab exercise you want. You can do crunches, you can do weighted crunches with a dumbbell on your chest. You're laying on the floor and you crunch up with a dumbbell. You can do side crunches where you hold the dumbbell at your side, right? You lower the weight to the floor, stretch out the opposite side away from the weight, and then you crunch that side, lifting the weight up with your, with your, with your, with your core and with your abs with your obliques, okay? Um, you can pretty much do any ab exercise you want. So, so if you find ab exercises that you like, there's ab machines at some gyms where you sit in, you pull a thing over your, over your chest and you crunch down, that's an effective machine, okay? Pick any ab exercise you want. Pick two to four of them and hit, hit your abs hard for a couple weeks and then lay, lay off. But this is not the video where we're gonna go over that stuff. The most beneficial way and most efficient way to see your abs is to get rid of that layer of fat. So that's exactly what we're gonna cover on how to get rid of that layer, right? And as long as you're working your abs every couple weeks and you're hitting them hard, you lean out, lean enough, and you're gonna see them and they're gonna pop, all right? So, so this is kinda of like a, a, a video, I guess that's like a, a hard truth on abs. <laughs> um, we're not gonna cover exercises, we're gonna cover how to get them to be seen, okay? So the best workouts for the, for to, to see your abs, I guess, if you want to say it that way, um, is to lean out, right? So you got to get single digit body fat or at least the low teens, 10, 11, 12 percent, just above 10 percent. You start to get below 10 percent and your abs should be looking pretty good or start to come in. You start to see definition on the sides here. But there's, there's a couple of different ways to get that lean, okay? The first is obviously you got to eat better. You have to dial in your nutrition. There's no way around it, especially if you're overweight. 10, 15 years ago, I was pretty chunky. I was pretty overweight. So, you know, I know the struggle. You know, you have to clean up what you're eating. I know exactly what you're going through, all right? Now, some people can get away with just dieting. Some people can just get away with cleaning up what they're eating, lifting weights, and they lean out and they look great. That's not me. That may not be you either. You know, if you're anything like me, uh, you got to actually work and put, put a lot of work into your conditioning and your cardio and your eating and your lifting and you have to stay on some sort of routine and some schedule. And that is how it works for, the most, for, for most of us. That's, pretty, that's the reality for most of us. Um, so the most beneficial way I can tell you to get abs is I train a lot of guys here with similar issues is number one, again, dial in your nutrition. Number two, lift some weights. Do some sort of strength training. It's gonna keep your muscles full, give you that shape that, that you want. You know, you obviously wanna look good. You wanna have some shape in the shoulders and your arms and your chest and your legs. And then the abs, you know, obviously to tighten those up and bring, bring everything, have everything meet in the center so you can actually see your abs, you know? Um, so lift weights. Can't stress that enough. Do not just do cardio or conditioning, okay? You gotta do some sort of strength training. Even if it's body weight training, you gotta do something that's going to help you maintain your muscle mass um, and give you some sort of resistance training to, to keep you strong, okay? Body weight training is fine. Um, the last thing is obviously your conditioning or your cardio. Now, I will say this. Steady state cardio on, a, on an elliptical or a treadmill is effective. It's not that it's not effective, okay? But the issue that I see with most people or most guys is that they don't have the time. I mean, I'm a business owner. I'm a new dad. I have a 14, 15 month old daughter. 
who takes up the time when I'm not here at the gym. So you may be struggling with, with schedule issues as well. And you can't get caught up on a treadmill for an hour because you just don't have the time. So, so what, I see, what we do here at the pit is basically we take conditioning sessions in 20 minute time slots, which is what, exactly what I'm gonna tell you guys to do. You block out 20 minutes of time, whether it's in the morning before you go to work, or in the evening when you get home, or when you have some quiet time to yourself after the kids are asleep, you just gotta fit it in somewhere, okay? After you figure out your block of time, you need a couple other things. Number one, you need a way to, to time yourself. All right, so here at the pit, we use what's called the gym boss timer. You can buy these online, like 20 or 30 bucks, depending on what model you get. Um, if you don't wanna spend the money, gym boss actually has a free phone app. I believe it's on, iPhone and Android, I have an Android, but I believe it's on both. You can just, just download it, it's free, um, and you can set the intervals on the phone app as well. Okay, so, But you need one or the other. You need a way to keep, keep yourself accountable as far as time goes, because you, this 20 minute time block, you do not want to cheat yourself, and you don't want to, um, you know, your break time is your break time. You don't want to go over, because it's going to decrease the intensity of the workout. So, once you have your, your interval timer and your block of time set up and your schedule set up of when you're going to do this, next thing you need to do is figure out some sort of conditioning exercise. My favorite is jump rope. <coughs> Excuse me. Jump rope is my favorite because, number one, you can control the intensity of the movement based on how fast you swing the rope. Okay, so if you're really feeling good, you just pick up the pace, double time it, and you actually will burn more calories, your heart rate will be elevated throughout the entire workout. But you don't need a jump rope. You can do jump squats, you can do jumping jacks, you can do mountain climbers, you can do whatever conditioning exercise you can do. Jump rope is just my favorite because I just like it. It's awesome. It's, uh, it's a way for me to kind of not, you know, I can kind of zone out while I do it. Um, if you can't jump rope, I will say this, it's not that hard if you practice. Just do it for a couple weeks and you'll learn how to do it. I didn't know how to jump rope until I was like 28. So. I mean, I went through my entire life without knowing how to jump rope. And then one day, I just decided, decided to pick it up, and I started doing it, and then within two weeks, I had it down. Um, so it's one of those things you gotta do it every day and just practice, okay? But I, my favorite is jump rope. After you figure out your conditioning exercise, you need to figure out some sort of uh, strength training exercises. I would say pick five of them, okay? You can do body weight squats, you can do push-ups, you can do pull-ups or suspension rows. Maybe you have a suspension trainer or bands that you can set up, or you can do rows or maybe light dumbbells, where you can do your rows this way, right? You're bent over, maybe 15s, 20s, 30s. And you're going to do a lot, doing a lot of reps in this workout. So keep in mind that heavy weight's not necessarily the best option, because you want to be able to rep out as we go through this workout, do a lot of reps, okay? Um, you know what I say, uh, squats, push-ups, pull-ups or rows. Pick two more, they can be two ab exercises. Maybe you do crunches and maybe you do a plank or a Russian twist or something like that, okay? So you have your, so think of it this way. You have your conditioning exercise, which is jump rope or mountain climbers or jump squats or jumping jacks. Then you have your lower body strength exercise, which could be squats or your lunges, okay? Either one of those is fine. If you have weights, you can do kettlebell swings. Just pick a lower body strength exercise, okay? Then you're gonna pick an upper body push, which is a push up or a push up, okay? Upper body pull, which is your, which is your dumbbell rows or your pull ups, right, from the bar or your suspension rows. You hang the suspension trainer up, like a TRX or something, and you just row up that way, okay? Doesn't matter. And then you have your two ab exercises, planks, and crunches, all right? Pick any two ab exercises, it doesn't matter to me. Um, now that you have these five strength exercises, here's how we're gonna lay the workout out. You have your interval timer set up. What you're gonna do is set the interval timer for 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So what do I mean by that? 20 seconds is your work time, is the time you're going to do your work exercise, whether it's jump rope or any of the strength exercises. Your 10 seconds off is your 10 seconds of rest. So you get 20 seconds worth of an exercise, worth of work, 10 seconds rest, okay? That's 30 seconds total. So if we wanted to do a, a, the 20 minute workout, we have to do 40 rounds of that, 40 rounds. So basically to set the time of your workout up, you take the amount of time you wanna do it, 
So let's say you want to do it 20 minutes, you double it and you got to do 40 rounds. If you want to do 10 minutes, maybe 10 minutes is all the time you have, you double that number and you got to do 20 rounds of this, okay? So here's how it works. You set your interval timer for 20 on, 10 off, for 40 rounds. It's going to give you a 20 minute workout, okay? And you're going to do, you're going to you'll alternate between jump rope and your strength exercises. So you're going to do jump rope, uh, 10 second break, body weight squats, 10 second break, jump rope, 10 second break, push ups, 10 second break, jump rope, 10 second break, pull ups or your rows, 10 second break, jump rope, 10 second break, you're going to do your crunches, 10 second break, then you do your jump rope again, 10 second break. And then you do your Russian twist or your planks, or whatever that last core exercise is. So basically, you put jump rope in for each 20 second interval in between your strength exercises. And you just do that until the timer's done. And for you do that for 40 rounds. Okay, you do that for 40 rounds. For 40, 40 interval time slots. It's a 20 second workout. It's super intense. And you don't have to count reps. You just do as many reps as you can in that 20 second time frame. And I guarantee you, if you do that and supplement your weight training with something like that, you will lean out super fast as long as you're eating right. Don't, don't try this and not eat right and figure, try and wonder why you're not dropping body fat while you can't see your abs, okay? So, to recap this entire video, I know it was long, but we covered a lot of information in this video. And so hang tight before you go, I got, a, I got some cool stuff for you guys. But re, real quick to recap, Okay, train your abs as you normally would. Pick a few different ab exercises and train them after your weights. Continue to weight train, right? And then pick a few days a week where you take a 20 minute or 10 minute or 15 minute time block and do your conditioning in the fashion we just covered. Conditioning exercise, a few strength exercises, and you alternate between the two for an allotted amount of time. It's not hard. I know we covered a lot of stuff. Maybe it sounded a little confusing, uh, but that is why I'm going to give you guys a free gift for hanging out. So in this free gift, I'm going to give you my Finishers 101 program. It's totally free. All you got to do is click the link on the right side of the screen. And what I will do is I will send it your way. Um, and it tells you how to build finishers. So basically, what we do, what we do is, what I gave you guys was just a workout finisher. Um, but you, this, this program is going to tell you how to build these workouts. And it's going to give you a bunch of different options and ideas so you can put them together yourself. Um, but definitely check it out. Put your email in on the right side of the screen. I will send it over your way. Um, and if you want, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put another another link up, another tag up too as well, another card. Um, this one is for uh, ten badass ab workouts. If you are looking for ab workouts and intense ones, no matter what equipment you have access to or what time frame you have to train. Uh, this this program has got you covered. It's 10 badass ab workouts um, and it's totally going to show you how to train based on whether you have kettlebells or the bar or you just have your body weight. You know, there's a, a bunch of different ab workouts in there. A lot of variety. A few advanced ones, a few old school ones. It's totally awesome. Check it out. So two cards on the right side of the screen. The first is, again, your Finishers 101 program, which is free. The second one, if you're looking for some ab workouts and to spice up your ab training, check out the, the, the uh, 10 badass ab workouts. But that's all I got, guys. Sorry this video was so long. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. I will be more than happy to cover them in a future video or even write up a blog post and personalize it for you guys. Uh, be sure to like, share, and share this video if you thought it was useful and thought it was awesome. Share it up. Subscribe to the channel and get your stuff on the, on the, the right side of the screen here. Guys, thanks again for making it through, damn, 14 minutes of, uh, of training information. Thanks for making it through 14 minutes of training information. I'll see you guys in the next video.